Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by and welcome back to the channel. We're back here today at the Tokyo Expressway for the World Touring Car 600 race and we've got a Subaru WRX Group B rally car. The uh, full tune will be at the end of the video but suffice to say it's, uh, it's an absolute monster this thing, it's really good. Um, so we're going for this particular one, we're going for a one stop strategy but I think with a bit of fuel saving and uh, coasting you could do a no stop in this but I just chose to go for the fast laps just to see what it can do. So as I've been doing recently on this first lap I just do a, a wall ride around the outside and it just uh, gets rid of some of the cars that are going to get in the way and potentially losing your clean race bonus just a lot easier. This car's pretty damn rapid so it's up for second already and by the end of the uh, S is right behind the uh, leader in the NSX. Uh, this thing just absolutely flies and as you can see from here the brakes are phenomenal on it and are really good. It's just all around a really nice car to drive. It takes a bit of getting used to um, as these rally cars do on the sports hards but once you get used to it it's uh, an absolute weapon. It's really nice. So we'll just head on board to show you this technique. This seems to be the best camera angle to show you. Um, the technique is you, you want to turn in early, sort of pitch the car into the corner, see? And just drift it round, just use that weight transfer and drift it round the corner. It's not like driving a race car on slicks where you've got braking points and apex and power out the corner. It's, it's more of a, a rally technique. You can see it here again where you just pitch it in early and the car, just let the car weight transfer and drift through the corner. It's, it's really satisfying and really, really good fun to drive. So on this run we were hitting at the end of lap seven. Like I say, you can do a no-stopper on this, but I just wanted to go for the uh, for the fastest laps. And uh, once you come out of the pits and the, uh, the track has dried out, this thing absolutely flies into a weapon. As you can see in my previous laps, 208, 207. This was my fastest lap of the race, I think, that we're on now. I think it's somewhere in the 205, yeah, 205, 868, which is a pretty rapid lap. So yeah, I'm really happy with this tune and uh, I'll be coming up very shortly at the end of the video. So yeah, really easy victory. Uh, like I say, it's a great car to drive. It's maybe something you've not tried before, but I'd highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's great fun and somewhat a little bit different as well. So we uh, yeah, managed to get the clean race bonus as well, so we get the 825,000 credits. So we'll get on to the, uh, the juicy stuff now, this is a tune. I won't talk to all the numbers, I'm sure you can read just fine. I've uh, enlarged it a bit so you can do a bit of a screen grab or whatever you want on that. Uh, the, uh, the torque distribution is just personal preference really, I've just had it 60 at the back. But uh, if you feel more comfortable 50-50, do that. The uh, gearbox is really good as standard, I'll just shorten the gears a slight bit. Elsewhere is not really much else you can do, it's just a standard turbo and you can adjust the brake bias. I just put it to the back, but again, that's personal preference. So uh, thanks for stopping by, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you find it useful, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.